Hi there, it's me again, Teacher Shine, your teacher for GE701. Welcome back to our online classroom. Today, we are going to discuss the exponential growth formula. At the end of this lecture, you are expected to appreciate the importance of mathematics in predicting the world's population, exponential decay, and other fields. According to a study entitled The World at a Glance, 1994, conducted by the Bureau of Census, from a population of 5,642,000,000, the world's population will be about 7.9 billion in the year 2020. And just yesterday, I checked the website of United Nations Population Projections and found out that the current world population is about 7.8 billion. How is that? That study was conducted 26 years ago, but with the use of exponential growth model, demographers were able to predict our population today. See how amazing mathematics is? Mathematicians have formulated equations to calculate current population and growth rates in order to predict the future population. A simple equation for population projection is the exponential growth formula given by A is equal to P times E raised to RT, where P is the current or the population at present, A is the population after it grows or the future population, R is the growth rate, T is the time period, and E is the Euler's number that is an irrational number approximately equal to 2.718. Now let's apply the exponential growth formula using an example. Example number one. The population of a city in the year 1995 is 30,000. If the rate of growth is 2%, what is the population in the year 2017? Recall that in dealing with any mathematical problem, we have to start with identifying what's been asked in a given problem. Here, we are asked to find for A, which is the population in the year 2017. Next, identify the given which we can use to answer the problem. First, P is equal to 3000, which is the population in the year 1995 or the population at present. Next, R is equal to 2%, which is the growth rate and t is equal to the time period from year 1995 to 2017. That is, t is equal to the difference of 2017 and 1995 that is equal to 22 years. Note that before substituting the growth rate in the equation, it should be converted first in decimal form. That is, by moving two decimal places to the left side. Thus, in this example, R is equal to 2%, that is equal to 0 0.02. Substituting the known variables to the formula A equals P times E raised to RT, we have A equals 30,000 times E raised to 0 0.02 times 22. We can easily get the answer if we use a scientific calculator. However, if you're using a basic calculator or calculators in your cell phones, follow the following steps. Start with multiplying the exponents of E. That is 0 0.02 times 22, that is equal to 0 0.44. So we have A equals 30,000 times E raised to 0 0.44. Next, compute for E raised to 0 0.44 and multiply the result to 30,000. Thus, A is equal to 46,581. Remember to disregard the numbers after the decimal point because we are talking about the number of people here. Of course, don't forget the conclusion which is the answer to what's being asked in this problem. Therefore, the population of the city in the year 2017 is about 46,581. Aside from predicting the population growth, another use of the exponential growth formula is in computing continuously compounded interests, where A is the future value, P is the starting or principal value, E is still the Euler's number equal to 2.718, R is the annual interest rate or rate per year, and T is the time expressed in years. Example. A house is purchased for 1 million pesos in the year 2002. 
the value of the house is given by the exponential growth model a equals 1 million times e raised to 0.645 t find t when the house would be worth 5 million pesos in this problem we are asked to find for t which is the number of years before the house would be worth 5 million pesos the known variables here are p equals 1 million pesos which is the principal amount of the house and a equals 5 million pesos which is the value of the house after t years using the exponential growth model a equals 1 million e raised to 0.645 t we have 5 million equals 1 million e raised to 0.645 t our goal is to find t so we have to eliminate 1 million at the right side of the equation. Thus, dividing both sides of the equation by 1 million, we have 5 equals e raised to 0.645t. Next, we have to eliminate e. And in order to do it, recall the definition of natural logarithm. That is, when x is equal to the exponential function e raised to y, then ln of x is equal to y, where ln is the inverse function of the exponential function e raised to y. Going back to the problem, we have x equals 5 and the exponential function e raised to 0.645t. Thus, applying ln to both sides of the equation and applying the definition, we have ln5 equals 0.645t. Finally, divide both sides of the equation by 0.645 in order to solve for t. Hence, ln of 5 divided by 0.645 is equal to 2.5. Thus, the time period should be 2.5 years. Therefore, the value of the house is 5 million pesos after about 2 years and 6 months. I bet there is a typo error in our module. Please change 5 months there to 6 months. Okay, let's proceed to our last example. Here, we will apply the exponential growth formula in dealing with exponential decay problems. Here's the example. Suppose that a population of a certain bacteria in a laboratory sample is 100. If it doubles in population every 6 hours, what is the growth rate? How many bacteria will there be in two days? In this problem, there are two unknown variables, the growth rate R and the population of the bacteria after two years. Let's identify first the known variables. We have the following, P is equal to 100, which is the present population of a certain bacteria in a laboratory sample. A is equal to 600, which is the population of the bacteria after t equals 6 hours and t is equal to 2 days. Maybe you are quite confused because we have two t's here such as t equals 6 hours and t equals 2 days. Remember that the population at t equals 6 hours is 200. Well, the population after 2 days is what being asked in this problem. To clearly understand the given problem, let's construct a table. In the table shown in the screen, we have two separate columns for the different time periods at t equals 6 hours and at t equals 2 days which is equal to 48 hours. So at t equals 6 hours, p is equal to 100, a is equal to 200, but r is missing. While at t equals 48 hours, p is equal to 100, a is missing and R is also missing. This means that we still can't solve for the population after two days because R is still unknown. However, we can solve for R using the known variables in column 2. Thus, using the formula A equals P times E raised to RT, we have 200 equals 100 E raised to R times 6. Dividing both sides of the equation by 100, we have 2 equals E raised to 6R. Applying ln to both sides of the equation, we have ln of 2 equals 6R. Dividing both sides of the equation by 6, R is equal to ln of 2 over 6, that is equal to 0 0.12, which is equal to 12%. 
This means that the growth rate every hour is about 12%. We already have the value for R, which means that we can now determine the population after 2 days. Using the known variables in column 3, we have A is equal to 100 times E raised to 0 0.12 times 48. That is equal to 100 E raised to 5.76 and that is equal to 31,735. Therefore, after 2 days, the bacteria's population is about 31,735. So I think this is the end of my lecture. In this video, we have defined what is the exponential growth formula and apply it in different situations. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to answer test 2 and chapter 1 lesson 1 of our module. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe to be notified with my latest lectures. See you in my next bits. Bye!